the Reaching for the Moon. About 18 months ago, China launched the first module, Tianhe, of its Tiagong-3 space station into low Earth orbit. Soon thereafter, a cargo ship was launched with equipment and supplies. About a month later, a Shenzhou module with three Takanauts, which are Chinese astronauts aboard, was launched and docked successfully with the TNE. Recently, the Wenshin lab module was launched and docked successfully with the TNE core module. Finally, the Menchian lab module, which is named Heavenly Dream, the last major component of the Chinese space station, has now been launched from Wenchang spacecraft launch site in South China's Haiwan province. Here's a short video clip of the rollout of the Menchian lab module to the launch pad. This is an exciting moment here at the Wenchang spacecraft launch site. The combination of the long March 5B Care rocket with the Mengtian lab module on its top is being transported from the assembly building to the launch pad. The transportation is proceeding smoothly after the rainy day, and all systems at the launch site are working well. The Long March 5B carrier rocket has undergone all procedures at the technical zone and been transported to the launch area. All its parts are in very good condition. It will carry out the launch mission of the Mengtian lab module in the coming days. Since arriving at the launch site, the Mengtian lab module has gone through various tests, like the final assembly, electrical locking and a joint examination of propellant refilling. Now it's ready for launch. Well, this is the sixth mission I witnessed for the construction of China's space station. And walking along this route again, I can feel the greater joy and excitement from those people around me. I feel especially excited and proud because after Meng Tian, the second space lab is sent and docked with the China space station, the CSS will basically have taken shape. Since the maiden flight of the Long March 5B carrier rocket, I've been constantly coming here and we have this tradition to escort the rockets to the launch pad. Now, as always, I am excited. The transportation took close to three hours to finish. The flight combination will then go through the final checks and get ready for the mission. On October 31st, the Menchin lab module was launched from the Wenchang Space Launch Site. Here's a short video clip of the launch from China's Wenchang Space Launch Site via a Long March 5B rocket. The Menchin lab module will rendezvous and dock with the TNE core module and the Wenchin lab module, forming a T-shaped complex. Once docked to the TNE, this will complete the first phase of China's Tiagong-3 space station, which they plan to operate for at least 10 years. For the past year, the Chinese Takanauts have been updating and installing equipment on the TNE. The Menchin lab module is mainly designed for scientific tests and is equipped with a multitude of laboratory cabinets for scientific experiments. China has received about 30 proposals from joint experiments from other countries or space organizations to be performed on the Tiagong-3 and has accepted 17. However, none of the accepted proposals are from the USA. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button to receive an email every time Reaching for the Moon posts a new video. And remember always, failure is not an option. Bye.